Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman from the Nevada Real Estate Group, formerly the Drewsdo Real Estate Group. Yes, Mr. Drewsdo did legally change his name to Chris Nevada, so now we are. We are the Nevada Real Estate Group. Precisely, precisely. Well, I'm here today with Leslie Bird, and she is our Washoe Valley expert. It's good to see you again, Leslie. You too, Philip. Thank you, thank you. Well, we're going to take a look back at the third quarter market activity yes. where we saw a wide range of uh, fluctuations in uh, sales and prices yep. and all kinds of good stuff. So for that, let's dive right into Market Insights. Let's do. First, let's take a look at the September 2018 numbers from Market Insights and let's compare that to what happened in 2017. Okay. Leslie, let's start with median sold price. How are things trending? Median sold price for the Washoe Valley and outlying areas is currently 462000 That's actually up by about 27% from September of 2017. So Wh we are still seeing prices trending up. Which is very much in line with what's happening all over Northern precisely, Nevada. precisely. Obviously, Washoe Valley is a little bit more of a micro market, so we have fewer homes to you know mine data from. But definitely, we're trending up just like the rest of the Reno area. And because 2017 was a record sales year all over Northern Nevada, you yep. had sold her down. That is correct. That is correct. We're down by about 55 percent from 2017, from September of 2017. But when we look at how many units are sold year to date, right. still on pace for a good average per month. That is correct. Leslie and I will discuss days to contract and days to market when we look at the quarterly activity because there's some uh, large numbers yeah. that skew kind of skewed it a little skew the data indeed <clears throat> month supply of inventory we're sitting at 6.1 Leslie yeah 6.1 so in the Washoe Valley area that really looks like uh, at the top end of a balanced market leaning towards a buyer's market and for those folks that are watching our videos for the first time when we look at month supply of inventory this means how long would it take to completely deplete how many homes we have in inventory. Yep. It would take six months to sell that off if no new homes hit the market. Anything under four is a seller's market. Four to six months is a balanced market. And anything over six, we see become a buyer's market. Great clarification on that, Philip. Thank you. <clears throat> Leslie, now that we've clarified what the month supply of inventory is, we're at 6.1 now, but last year we were definitely in a seller's market. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we were about three, you know, the high end of three, closer to four um, months of inventory at September of 2017. Um, and so definitely we're seeing that shift in the market a bit uh, here in our area, especially in this micro area, especially leaning much more towards that, you know, buyer's market that the buyers really love. <laughs> Leslie, as we look at the median sold price by month for the last three months, this giant dip here in August is actually skewed by only a couple of houses. Yes, that is correct. We had one house in VC Highlands. Um, well, really, it's a, a piece of land with technically a stick-built home on it. It's really a garage with a tiny apartment above it. But it sold at 115, which was actually quite a bit under the asking price. Um, but that did skew our numbers because we have a very small amount of homes, you know, relatively. The percent of asked received is uh, another indicator of the strength of a market. And back in July at 99.2%. Mm -hmm. But again, we look at those that $100,000 property and that $2 million property. And those did take a bite out of the percent of asked received figure. Yeah, the uh, $2 million property took, you know, a hit um, for on its, you know, its asking price was 239.5. It actually sold at 215. So that took a hit, skewed the market. Um, also, we saw that, you know, smaller property there at 146 listed and then sold at 115. So both those kind of brought our percent to asking average down for that month. On the whole, if we look at as we're changing and now moving towards, you know, September or looking at September's numbers, we're closer to about 97% to ask right now. So this dip isn't as scary as one should actually think. Right. I mean, it's such a small market, it doesn't take much to skew that line and make it look like a pretty, pretty big deal. And again, that one property sitting for five years on yep. the market <laughs> creates an uphill battle for average days on market. Exactly. Our featured listing of the day for the Washoe Valley area is this spectacular $3.3 million property, which sits at the end of Franktown Court just off of old 395. Leslie, what can you tell us about this very, very elaborate property? Absolutely gorgeous home, four bedrooms, seven bathrooms, sits on a quarter of an acre, listed at $3.3 um, 
yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. Palatial, really, kind of, um, if you look at the grounds and just the whole thing is just extravagant. When you look at the interior, it's designed beautifully. It's just really takes your breath away. This place was meant for a party. Yeah, for sure. Let's have some wine. Absolutely. <laughs> Uncork a bottle of wine, go down, shoot some pool, have another drink at the bar. Yep. Take a dip in your indoor pool. Go, you know, work off your pizza that you ate when you were watching the game. Absolutely. <laughs> well, if you've got $3.3 million cash, uh, this property could be yours. Or we can always set you up with Big Valley Mortgage and a jumbo loan. So that's your third quarter real estate market watch for Washoe Valley, Pleasant Valley, and the surrounding rural areas. Yep. Coming up at the end of October, my favorite holiday, Halloween. What yeah. are you going to be doing for Halloween? Um, I haven't quite decided yet. I have a lot of options. That's one of the great things about being in Washoe Valley. I can go a little bit south down to Garterville, Corley Ranch. I could go to Damani, a little bit north, go to a trunk or treat, or I can go, even go up to Sparks to Andalin Farms to Baby Animal Days. I got lots of options living in Washoe Valley. So we'll see. I'll fill you in next time. Right on. Well, I look forward to seeing what you get dressed up as for, uh, for <laughs> Halloween this year. Well, for more information about any of the numbers that we've discussed today, you can contact Leslie at the information you see on your screen now. Hopefully you found this information useful and you'll share it on your social media as well. For Leslie Bird, for the Nevada Real Estate Group, I'm Philip Goodman. We'll see you next time.